<laughs> Nobody pray for me. It been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Peep the jacket that came with the whip. <laughs> That's the front of it. That's insane. <laughs> I love, I didn't know there was such a big culture. Dude, this shit is gassed up like crazy. Basically what's happening right now is James is buying a drift car. It's a like 81 Corolla and we're going to pick it up from Ray's. We gotta go get, um, <laughs> go, we gotta go get Ray's shitty E30 off his trailer, get the trailer, go pick up drift car, Maybe pick drop up it off. And then woman's and then, yeah, drop it off. It and now we're heading out in the G35. Fuck, you're gonna see my cracked ass windshield. Hey, your windshield's fucked, my dude. Fuck. You can't even see it on the camera, you're good. Wow, in the, the show. The popo don't know that. <laughs> Alright, man. Uh, we're, we're done. We're getting her off. Ray says it's hard to get this thing off because it's like so smashed up, it doesn't even roll. But we're getting it off. Today, today, today. Homeboy right here is buying his first car on his own. Cashed out, Stay working hard. hard. Go kart track in the back, baby. Let's okay. go, baby. Yeah. Are these three? Are these ripped? Things hard to roll, so we gotta roll it off somehow, some way. Oh, okay, yeah. It's E30 here. Okay. Alright James, tell us what's going down though, a little bit. Like, I think my girl gonna thank me and this Corolla gonna separate. <laughs> fucking just waiting for my chick to come. No, like what's going on today? What's the purpose of right now? Dude, you're buying a fucking drift car, my dude. That's what I was just fucking saying. Why'd you interrupt my story? Oh my bad, tell me your story. Fucking hey. Alright, EG. Alright, let's hear it. So, just stopped at the homie Ray's house. You know, we're picking up the uh, trailer right now. And then we're gonna head down. It actually ended up being a uh, neighbor's... <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for my chicken, the Susie, to roll up. We'll head on and Adam. Who's Adam? <laughs> that he just is such a fan for. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't know if this was going to be too cringy, but I brought the ace. <laughs> Does it have bride seats on it? Is that someone's car, like, actually? And you just, like, put it on a shirt? Yeah, I think yeah. it's someone's drawing of a car. <laughs> dude, this is just, like, disrespectful from this bird. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, it's right there. Hey, I'm gonna call you in a little bit. We're picking up James's uh, Corolla right now. No fucking way. Yo. Yes. It's name. Corolla, dude. Yes, dude. Literally license plates on the fender. Yes. yes, James, I, if you I don't want this, I, I will you. buy it from you. you. Bro, it's already slammed like the perfect amount. Like the body kit is gassed. This shit gotta go. Like every piece in here has gotta go though. I do. This is like the fifth time he's checked to make sure his money's still in his wallet. I better have that 300 smacks, dude. It's not bad for this thing. It's literally just missing the carb. I thought this whole thing was dented in. Sides are solid, it's just the fenders that are fucked. Yeah, dude. Now I just need literally lights and this thing in a I bar. Put, dude, LED light bars, then you can wire them straight yeah, into the battery, not worry about it. <gasps> yeah. Do you think the turn? No, no way. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Is it oh, so you do have the lights. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be obnoxiously loud. I hope it is, dude. No. I got the trailer. Fuck it right here, huh? If he's driving it. Yeah. Yeah. I can get that one out of the Way too low. Hey, 
got your parking brake on? Parking brake? Is that it? <laughs> no, look at this one as Batman. Oh my god, this is the hood, dude. No I know way. where I'm moving. We got Iron Man and Batman. Woo! What's going on, James? Oh my god, dude. I just picked up this car and ran and drive. He actually started and drove it. And it didn't even scrape going up that steep ass fucking hill. Look how steep that is. Like, yeah, that's a good ass height. Eight. Running and driving. Yeah, that's it. Like people, this uh, us there. Oh, the Why? racing seats. Your neighborhood's the spot, dude. That thing is badass. It's. Let me see this. What? Is, what? Hey, she started with tennis balls. Now look what she got. Dude, what are you chewing on? Let's see. Oh my God! You almost bit my hand off. All right, you know. Yeah, so young. Loki. You're good. Yeah, you're Gucci. Oh. I say you just roll it off. All right, send it. Wait, wait, don't like fully send it, just slowly. Let's see. You're good on this front. Exhaust. Am I stuck? Can I even push you? I think, I need... I think my exhaust is clumped. Yeah, I think you're on Stick the ground. Out. Start it up, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. the starter going? You had the starter going that whole time. No. How? The starter gets stuck. I heard it louder than the motor. I was like, what the fuck is that grinding? I'm, I'm home now. I'm going to do the fuel filter in this uh, E36. Fuel filter. Cool beans. filter out as you can see it's hanging right there I just undid it and it's like one allen bolt and it comes undone but looking at it it looks like they're two totally different filters so I don't know if it's gonna fit or not um, I guess we'll find out right now but I think I'll make this one work somehow the situation I ran into is that the stock super skinny and the one I bought is super fat this is what they told me works for online but this tray right here that holds in the filter does not work no more. So, so I just replaced the filter. I'm sure this is probably normal, maybe not, but look how much dirt comes out of this one. Like, it's just like, that's dirty. But then again, that is pouring it backwards, so maybe that's normal. But the mount did not work. So I, and then I put a few zip ties, that way it grips to it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and let it down, start it and see if it fixed it. There was a, there was a coolant line I saw that was like half unplugged. And I undid it and tried to tighten it. And right when I undid it, it just started pouring out on me and I couldn't get it any more on than it was. It's like halfway on. I'll see if I can show you guys. Basically, there's the field filter. As you can see, I zip tied it in there around the actual bolt hole. And then like way, there's a coolant line that's like halfway undone. It would not tighten. My new steering wheel and the quick release hasn't shown up yet, so I still have this one on temporarily. I'm gonna tighten it real quick just so I can drive the car and um, see if maybe it fix that issue. So if this fuel filter doesn't work for the BMW, the next thing I'm gonna try is uh, deleting the cat and just straight piping it right there because it could be a bad uh, cat. According to what a lot of people are saying in the forums, I'll drive it right now, let it warm up, and then uh, we'll see if it does the little stuff.
show you some light going for you guys. Like it feels better. I don't know, but we'll see. Oh my god, my steering wheel is so off. Pulled way harder than it's ever pulled before on a second gear. Let's see if I can get get once it's straight away again. Look at this person going through the construction site. They're wild. You're wild, my dude. Second gear. We're not mid temp yet. We're kind of cool still, so let it warm up a little bit more, and then we'll see. Yeah, I can't believe I'm driving it like this. It feels so raggedy, but it doesn't seem to be breaking up. Could it really have been a, a fuel filter that was causing all that? So we're cruising, almost hitting mid temp now. So uh, we'll see. Better. Like it feels like it, it feels smoother throughout the gear. It doesn't choke up like it was. Right, here it's at almost mid temp now for sure. And this is off a line where it usually would choke. Oh, it did it. It did it. Did it for a second. It did do it that one time, but it hasn't really done it since. Um, I guess we'll go from a dead stop right here. I did floor it last time we're off the line, so maybe that's why, but let's see. We're dead stop. Oh, it did it again, the top of first gear. Nothing in second. Yep, it's still doing it the same way. I just floored it in first gear and did the same exact thing as usual. And second gear, great. There it goes, misfires. I'm gonna try cutting out the cat this weekend, straight piping it at the same time as probably welding my diff. Maybe do that Sunday. It sucks, I'm tired of working out these small issues. Build this as a drift car already. All right, sadly, I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I still don't know what's wrong with the BMW. I still didn't put my dash in. I still haven't really gone through the wiring. I still haven't done the sunroof. But there's so many more videos to come, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.